Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, it's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the Juno Show. And a welcome to the Juno Show. Yes, that's happening. Yes, so my new show is called Probed. And it's going to be at Soho Theatre between the 4th and 16th of November. We have 12 shows running. And it is a gorgeous stand-up comedy show all about me and the things that I find irritating about this planet. Um, so I'm going to be probing myself, releasing information that I've never shared with anyone before. And um, it's going to be an absolute riot. I'm just so happy to be doing a residency because the thing is with the residencies is the show kind of gets funnier and funnier as it goes on. You add more little bits in as you go. Um, but it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fa fabulous. And if there's one thing that we know as Londoners, it's we love to complain about things. So I'm sure you'll pick up lots of tidbits throughout the the show going on as well. Yeah, I'm gonna be moaning me. I don't honestly. I, I sometimes I hate going to London. I hate getting on the tube. I just the worst thing you can hear when you're claustrophobic on that tube is like, can everyone please move down the train so I can fit more people on, please? And I'm like panicking <laughs> like it's like I've not already got my elbow down my neck do you know what I mean <laughs> meanwhile there's an old lady folded in half so she can fit in the luggage rack <laughs> can I trouble you for a glass of water ma'am I'm bark <gasps> have you performed in Mon London much before uh, yeah lots over the years um many times um but never done a full residency there so um I'm excited to make myself at home. And obviously the the show is uh, a, a rant and a rave, but what have been your um, favourite experiences in London? Are there particular venues that you are quite fond of? Um, well, I've probably fallen over in most of them, so um, <laughs> I probably don't remember that. Um, but um, I loved performing at the Clapham Grounds. That was fun. And then we did the O2, was it the O2 Academy last year? Or in no, is O2 Islington, that was it. I think we did that maybe two years ago or the year before. My memory's awful. I've got the memory of a 97 year old, honestly. Um, but yeah, O2 Islington was a really fun one because they have the balcony, don't they? Your drag is very otherworldly. You like to talk about um, coming to this planet. Where did that inspiration come from? The sun is setting, everybody. And I've put my human disguise on for the night. Um, honestly, a bit of a bit of a bit of a seriousness and a bit of a joke, really. I mean, I started this look with my sculptures, and I used to like creating these kind of alien aliens disguised as human beings because for a lot of time that's kind of how I felt being a transgender woman. And it and then I kind of just started taking the mick out of it all and so that's where it kind of started and this idea of these alien women disguising themselves in a beauty salon. I just loved the image and it just kind of I stuck with it and I don't like change. So I've looked like this now for about six years. 